Hollywood Social Lounge. I'm Mia Mocha. And I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And we're having a lot of fun on the set. Yes, we are. Yes. Today, mm -hmm. we have a huge show. Yes, we do. And We've I'm got, super excited. Yes, Ellie for Torres in the house oh, today, yes. live right here on air. And again, you can see her in the latest project right now. There it is, <laughs> Betty. In New yes. York, yeah. Ugly Betty, uh, 2.0, 3.0. I wonder what Ugly point Betty 2.0, 3.0. That's, well, you know Well, what? Gina Rodriguez was the original. Right, yes, yeah, she was. Yeah. But this one, she just, I don't know if she's, she doesn't look ugly. She just looks, you know, very all natural. There you go, yeah. Yes, Some and she goes all natural, glam. Yeah. Right, some call it plain Jane, uh -huh. right? We call it plain Betty. I, I think that's better than the ugly Betty. Why do they always, Agreed. yeah, right? I know, but I get it, I get it. It's about the inner beauty, which is what she has in spades, by the way, yes, right? Yes, she does, she's a sweetheart. Speaking yeah. of which, she's yes. playing, coming up around the corner, what? Selena. Did you, see, oh, did you see her as Selena though? Look at that. Oh, that you know looks. What? She looks exactly like her right there. There, there. That's the money shot right there. That that's is Selena, right? Yes. Like that. I'm like, wow. Okay. So, uh, of course, I'm wondering again all of the news on her end, and also we got movie trailers coming up around that's the fun. corner, that's including fun. one which I want to ask your opinions on this. I, I had a moment with this, but all right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna just say should, uh -oh. I, should I throw it out there? I'm gonna throw it out there. Throw it out there. I'm here. Pearl Harbor 2.0. Okay, watch. You're going to see this or hear this later for you radio audience, which we're going to get just around the corner. They're going to be like, you know, they're going to hear a lot of explosions and stuff. But if you get a chance to Pearl tune Harbor in, 2.0, find us on Facebook because we have the social media chat room lit up right now. In fact, we got Steven sent over there. Says hello, good after, a good good day. Awesome. Good day. We've got a lot of people. Johnny uh, in the house. Greetings, Turk. Okay, so Aww. this is called. Hollywood Social Lounge. Yes. So, so we hope we can, you know, get the comments yeah, in social media. In. So bring it, bring them. Let us know yes. first of all where you're tuning in from. Okay. That'd Lots of news. There. Oh, there's one. There we go. We appreciate you, Stephen. Stephen retweeting us on Twitter. How do they find us on Twitter, Mia? At least yourself. Oh, you can always go to Mia Mocha underscore. Can yeah. You get that underscore. Yep. Yep. Yes. And the underscore HSL, myself, Aaron M. Sanchez. Okay. So we got to take a break. Okay. When we come back, we got <laughs> lots more to talk about right after these messages with our radio audience coming yes. up. ABC News Radio, KMET, 1490 AM. We'll be right back right after these messages. Stay tuned. All right. All right. All right. So we're on our commercial break. Yes. Yes. Checking out your comments over there. Let's see. Oh, San Diego's in the house. Woohoo, San Diego. Wow. Hey. Yeah. Johnny. Johnny Papas in the house. Thank you for Diego. joining us. Johnny. Right. Weather's beautiful down there. Yes, San Diego. Yeah. And if you want to tweet us, by the way, Johnny, tweet us at Aaron M. Sanchez and we'll feature your tweet, by the way, if you're on Twitter. Okay. So <laughs> some of your Periscope comments don't get featured on here. But if you tweet us, we will. So make it like really good. Epic. Yes. Yeah. Well, Except, we have remember, to see it and we say something about G -rated, it. G-rated, okay. so no, nothing yeah. too epic. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, that goes without saying. Although Twitter, Twitter audience gets a little. Oh, look, somebody else retweeted. Rose, thank you, Rose. We appreciate you. Rose Leo Musk, thank you, Rose. Beautiful name, by the way. I love the name Rose. Yeah, yeah, Very right? Nice. Okay. Yes. So, uh, so lots more to talk about. And speaking of which, some of the latest news this week. Oh, my goodness. A little bit of Ghost Rider. Yes. Have you seen the movie, the other ones of the Ghost Riders? With Nick Cage? Yes. Hated it. Okay, moving Hated it. on. So you think this newer version is going to be like fantabulous? Well, look, Disney's like in charge now with Marvel, right? Because Disney yes. owns Marvel and pretty much, and Hulu as well, right? That's right, uh, yes. Now, which is the newest news, which I said this was going to happen. Did I not on the show, since they like separated from Netflix, all the Marvel things that they had, Daredevil, all the ones, Punisher, 
they ended all those seasons because they're I like, we are, know we are Yankee from Netflix. Yes, and I was like, what's going on? Because I did not know that until Aaron told me. I'm like, oh, so you gave me the tea. Okay, and what's yeah. happening next? Yeah, uh-huh. so there we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's that. And then uh, there's there's something that I, I can't wait on this one. Mia. Okay. You do impersonations by chance? Absolutely not. Not in front of people, no. Oh, come on. You've got one or two in there. Oh I can gosh. almost guarantee what? it. What? I can sometimes do a mean Mickey okay. Mouse. Here we go. Here we, oh, okay. here we go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome back. It's the Hollywood Social Lounge. I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. I'm Mia Mocha. And for you radio listening audience over there at ABC News Radio, KMT 1490 yeah. AM, we got a big <laughs> show planned for you today. Yes. On today's show, who do we have in the studio with us? Well, we have, it's Ella, I want to make sure I say it right. Ellie Fur Torres. Fur. Yes. Now, her name is very unique. And I went ahead and typed it up. She is just amazing. Well, I've been I, a little background on her. She's yeah, amazing. I found out that, uh, like, through the grapevine, I think yes. it's a combination of names. Yeah, so it's like, it's, so you it's know. So it's Ellie Fur. So when you see it, yeah. the spelling's a little different, but yeah. it fits. Yeah, and she is in the latest show on Telemundo. Telemundo. Ugly Ooh. Betty in <gasps> New York. Or Betty in New York, right? What she's like. The, you keep throwing that ugly word around. It's like. It's, it's like, the it's like, show. It's more like, you know, naturalista Betty. I didn't, oh, is it just <laughs> Betty in New York? Is that it? Oh, but it's Ugly Betty. 2.0, right? We're, we're doing 2.0 everything, pretty yes. much. Everything's True. going 2.0. Because Gina Rodriguez, yes. the original Betty. Yes, she right? was. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And she played an amazing character. She right. did it great. She right. owned it. It was awesome. So we'll have her in our second segment. Also, movie trailers and That's much fun. news. In fact, let's skip forward to the news, shall we? Because okay. Mia, I, I know you haven't seen Uh-oh. this just yet. I held this from you. Uh, oh, what no. do you think about... First of all, do you have an Amazon Alexa? Or will you buy one in the future? I have one and I never use it. Okay, now, would you use it if, wait for it, folks, Uh if Samuel L. Jackson was speaking to you rather than the Alexa voice that you have right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can get it for 99 cents around the corner. Yes, Samuel L. Jackson. There he is. There he is. Yeah, uh, he can, uh, you know, bring up your music. And so imagine, Mia, like, ask. Alexa, or I don't know if okay, you have to go okay, Alexa or voice. Samuel. Do, do you the voice, Aaron. Do the voice. I can't do Samuel. Yes, you can. Give it a shot. No, Just I would be try. cursing. What? I'd be cursing. <laughs> I'd be cursing. I'd be using drop. Bo- I, look, you would be bleep, bleep the whole time. Oh, my which, goodness. Which, by the way, there's a profanity version. What? That you could get on this new Alexa app. Yeah. Profanity. Yeah, if you so, want that. So it'll be like beep. Yeah. And, uh, and can you get me the beep well, right away? It's probably like additional. It's additional. Ooh, additional. Yeah. I'm not reminding you uh bleep like that. <laughs> oh, that's What's kinda, the that's wrong sassy. with right? Like okay. Oh, check him out. I He's like been Samuel. practicing this in the mirror, I can tell. No. I love Samuel L. Jackson. You love him? I've loved I've loved him from the start. I mean his story goes back like he doesn't care about like 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 you're gonna offend him, he doesn't mind to be like, you know what? You I don't care. First movie you ever saw of him. In what fact, that's it? his look. What was it? What? Like what, what was you it? got? What? The first movie you ever saw of Samuel Jackson. Throw it out there. Let's oh man. It. Uh well, ooh, it was even before that. He's been in so many, it's hard to keep track. Shaft, I remember though, he defined Shaft, the redefined. He did? I never saw it. Sorry. Shaft! Right? Like <laughs> break it down, talk like him. And then and then he had that stride. Okay, look, moving on. <laughs> 99 cent introductory fee. Users of the Alexa virtual assistant software will soon be able to purchase a voice package featuring <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson in your living room or bedroom. That gets or weird. Or bedroom. Um, yeah, I'm just saying. What would you All ask right. Alexa or Samuel to do? Uh, what time is it? Yeah, that'd be like. Samuel, You'd just be like, and then, and then would you be like on repeat, or would you ask him to like read you a bedtime story? Can you do that? Ooh, maybe even yes, he could be the character just read me to sleep, just so you know. Now, what if he doesn't understand? Because Alexa sometimes doesn't understand what you say. Like, does he like come out with this like? <laughs> and will he use your name? I don't know. I got questions that need okay, to be you answered. Gotta try this. You gotta get I, it and let us know. You yeah. Let me know. Well, okay. So look, um, four ninety nine. Uh, it will eventually cost. Is that a little too much to get Samuel L. Jackson in your living room? Well, he's going to make his money. You know, he's going to make his ducats. Yeah, they'll do it. Would they'll you do, pay it, would, though? They, they wouldn't bring him on unless they knew there was money involved that could be made. Would you pay that? I paid 99 cents. Would you pay four ninety nine? You know what? It depends. And the reason why I say that is it depends on what mood I am. If it catches me in the right mood, I will pay $4.99 for Samuel Jackson to be in my bedroom. How's that? 
All right, good. Okay. Yes, all right. There okay. You go. All right. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so there you go. I like the years. Like if they do like a younger version of Samuel Jackson oh, versus the so. doer, like you know Will Smith, same. like Will Smith. He's... Will Smith sounds different. Like he you does? know, like Prince, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, yeah. Will Smith versus like new. Will Smith, he's more like serious and you refined so? versus fun and wacky, like in Gemini Man, which I cannot wait to see, by the way. Oh, that just look good. Right? That Gemini Man? Good. Where yes. He goes yes. and fights up his like younger self. So, speaking of uh, younger into like uh, newer movies, right? Okay. We're going to see Jurassic World 3. I'm in. Guess who's coming back? Jeff Goldblum. Love Jeff Goldblum. Right? Like he yes. defined Jurassic yes. Park, right? And he looks amazing. Okay, yes. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I I want him as my new Alexa, right? Like I, I that I, would be cool. Yeah, like that uh, would be cool. Uh, well, uh, 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 yeah, well, uh, okay. Uh, Laura Dern, I gotta work on my Samuel. Just sorry, Jeff Goldblum. You, Gold you gave it a shot. Laura Dern and Sam Neill. Sam, there they are, Sam Neill. All three <gasps> of them coming back to Jurassic World three. They, what do you think about that? And not cameos. Okay, okay. The the first thing is first. They both the guys aged very well. Right. I must say. Next, of course, I'm in. That's awesome. I cannot wait. It's going to be interesting now because you remember the very first one. Yeah. It actually terrified me. That that T Rex when it stomped in a whole. Hold on. Can shirt? we go back to that photo? I'm just stuck on her. Like going the men. Did you say the men refined? Real? Can we go back to that? Yeah, I, men, I think look she at that. she aged well too. She's you pretty. left her out. Yeah, she's she's pretty. But you you like she's the gray pretty. you like gray hair on men. It look good. Okay, all right. Because recently I was asked by somebody. They were like, it should I dye good. my gray hair? And they I'm like, go. You know, gray is in. I it think. depends how they wear it. Because oh. if you're sporting something that right. you know, you can't. Guys, don't 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 go all gray if you don't think it looks good. On. Take right. the picture. You know how you can switch your hair out. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, do that first. Now I think you had a couple stories. I do actually. I do have a couple of stories. The first one being is the one. Well, let me ask you about this. Yeah. You hear about Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore? <gasps> Did you hear about that? I read it. You, okay, you read the it. The blurb. Is, okay. The blurb. Because she wrote. She, she, Demi wrote a book, correct? Right, right. I'll let you correct. explain it though. She wrote a book, and it's a telltale about their marriage at the time, and when they. Came it's going to sell out, by the way. Oh, I bet you it is. Guaranteed. And the interesting thing is, is that they did a threesome, twice. I don't even know what that means. Well, there was three of them. When they barbecue, they like all come together. Well, yeah. Well, there's, there's, yeah. And and use your imagination. And she said after the second time, it made her feel shameful, and that she Mm. didn't feel that she can continue to be the wife he wanted her to be. So, because I was wondering, like, what happened? They were together for a long time. So this is like juicy. And do, do you believe it? Do you believe that happened? I know. I don't know. Really I don't know. Too much about I don't it, look. I don't see her all of a sudden throwing stuff out there that's un, not factual. I think yeah. the question is what's yeah. going to happen on the other camp because I think they reached out to Ashton Kutcher. I don't know. Is he? Is he like you know puffing his chest going yeah that's right or like oh man because you know he's in that I other relationship. Well, I mean I would be you like know what? that's a whole different life because in the beginning. He was with Demi, and Demi looks amazing, by the way. She looks right. fantastic. Right, right. Yeah, there it is. I right really, there. I was hoping they'd have a future. I'm not gonna lie. I when I saw them not two together, me. I That's, thought that I made no sense. Well, you know, here's the thing. Bruce Willis actually yes. really very good. I mm-hmm. thought Bruce Willis did a stand-up job between that because they ended up like working it out That's all true. three of them Which is with rare. the children, That's right? That's right. Yes, you're right. So I don't know if this kind of hurts like the kids to talk about. Does it? Does it not no, hurt? I don't because, know. because, you know, the kids were kind of grown when Ashton jumped into the picture. Weren't they all like grown and things like that? And then he ended up getting married to another lady and having right. a baby. And so that's a whole big Big yeah, yeah. On, well, so. you know, look, I mean, uh, she's going to sell copies of that book for sure. Gonna Are sell you going to get it? Are you going to get it? Not really. No, because I, I look what happens like between them as a couple. I'm not into that, really. Does no? it like I got bigger things to oh, like, you know, like the movie trailer that's coming up. Like, go, you know, talk oh to me gosh. about. Yeah. But so I, I would love for him to be. Uh, would you buy it? Oh, yeah, that's juicy. I got to, I you got like to that stuff. Dish. Yeah. yeah. OK. Ashton, I, got, I want to know what Ashton did. OK. And another one in the news. OK. I want to break this up. OK. Adam Levine and his new hairstyle. Oh, now, speaking of Adam, mm-hmm. he's rocked a lot of hairstyles. He do, has. do you think he rocks that hairstyle? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? No. I thought you were no. going to say I thought it was like, you were going to say like it's all in the look. It's in the attitude. Because in there, he's like owning it like. Uh, okay, so he got a mohawk. Oh, look at you. Oh, check you. Oh. Like, imagine this all shaved oh, off, right? Look at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but continue. Okay, well, not only did he shave it off in a mohawk, he put some French braids or corn rolls down the middle, 
and he was like sporting it. And let me tell you something, his Wait, head is glowing. Corn they, rolls? They do corn rolls or French braids, corn rolls. And you know what? His skin is glowing. Like he ain't never been to Southern California. <laughs> He's got he's, he's got glowing. a good he's got a good regimen. Yeah. He got that cast Let's see. thing going on. Philippe so. TR saying Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. All right. Snoop Dogg too. Yeah, all right. There you Snoop go. Dogg. All right. So, uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. She, he's gone like maybe Adam Levine as Snoop Dogg too. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, you think so? Well, uh, well, 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 would you do it? Would you get it? Would you get a mohawk? Uh, you know I would. I've considered it by the way. I have. I've considered it. You have a good shaped head. Really, because I don't think, look, okay, we'll talk about this during the break, because when we get back, guaranteed, you guys want to check this out versus talking about my mo my potential mohawk. Uh, Ellie Fortora is coming up yes. right around the corner, right yes. here on the Hollywood Social Lounge. Send in your comments. We want to see them. We'll be right back right after these messages. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we're on our commercial break, getting we it ready are. over here. Okay. Me. <laughs> what? Okay. okay, here I am. Hey, show ready. us the fan. It's a nice fan, oh, by the okay. way. Yes. I, there's okay. no this shame like, in the fan. Yeah. This is what you do when you're spilling the tea. When you, you know, privately, like, you'd be like. Oh, spilling. Mm -hmm. I thought if you spill tea, tea, you want to have one of those. This is like ready the, to go. you want people to read the lips. You, you know, read my lips. Bat it with the with the with that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, I mm -hmm. get it. Yeah. Or when the mic's on, you don't realize it's yeah. on. That's yeah. why you always have to be careful. And, and you don't want to say profanity because people can read your lips. Yeah. So it's like, like baseball, base right? They they like hide that yeah, to like exactly. they don't want the play by play. Exactly. Uh, Judy in the house heading to Walla Walla, Washington, rest at uh, her daughter's home. Oh, that's right. Judy was in the hospital. Oh, good. This is good news. Our, our, would yesterday. Yes. Yeah, she was saying that she was in the hospital watching oh. the show. By the way, uh, the morning show, and so she was that. But that's good. That's she's she's now out because they kept her. They kept her. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, they kept her, and evidently they released her. So good job, hey. Judy. We hope and wish you the best. We did pray for you over there. So oh, uh, continue yes. getting well over there. Okay, and I'm glad you're going to your daughter's. I'm glad she's doing that. Mm -hmm. So. Walla Walla, Washington. All right. Walla Walla. Walla Walla. Walla Walla. Yes. Uh, let's see. We got Bianca in the house. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Steven, let's see. We appreciate you. Okay. So if you are just joining us, feel free to retweet, tweet. Johnny Papas is in the house. Johnny let's Papas, see. son. What's the... Uh, I like that. There we go. Okay. Less than 20 seconds. Let's see. Ariel, John Morsey. Ariel. Ariel. Love yeah. It. But John. So I don't... John. Know. Ariel could go... It's like that... Universal thing, right? Isn't it? Okay, yeah. here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Okay, here we go. Seven seconds. Six, five. Oh, we Four. gotta go live on that clip. Let's go live on that clip. That's right. It's the more. It's the Hollywood Social <laughs> Lounge. We want to play uh, that clip that we have with Ellie for Torres. So yes. let's do that right now. And welcome back to the Hollywood Social Lounge. It is Mia Mocha here with you, and we have a special guest that I am so thrilled to bring on. She's an amazing talent, a force to be reckoned with, you know what I'm saying? And she's played great roles like um, the role in Ugly Betty and, of course, the very young Selena. I'd like to welcome to the show Elifer Torres. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Thank I you so much amazing. for all how of are that you? that you say. I'm great, and thank you for saying all of that about me. 
Well, not only are you multi-talented and you're beautiful, I mean, I was watching uh, some of your work and you can range from comedy to drama. You can make people laugh and you can make them cry. I mean, welcome to the show. Let everybody know what's going on in your life. Thank you so much. Well, I'm really excited to be here. So thank you so much for having me. Yes. And well, I'm just done. I, uh, we filmed a series called Betty in New York, and I was playing the role of Betty. She's a woman that, you know, people don't consider her beautiful. But then mm -hmm. in this fashion industry world where the only thing that matters is how you look and not who you are, mm -hmm. Betty ha had to struggle a lot. But suddenly she started to bring some confidence and build some confidence and she she changed she's a new a whole new woman she's strong and beautiful and now people can truly see who she really is and what really matters which is her soul and her amazing talent with numbers because you know she's great with numbers and everything yes. and she becomes an an entrepreneur and follow and achieve all her dreams and and yeah it's an it, it was an amazing opportunity for me to play that role because it's like one of the most iconic telenovelas in like whole in the whole time you know like Bet, yo soy betty la fea which is the original version was oh, version was made in Canada, okay we're showing and now they are doing this hispanic version for the for the US. yeah yes betty in new york so what kind of drew you to this character? What was it about it when you first read the script that made you like, I got to do this. I have got to do this. Um, I knew the story. Uh, before I, I, I got like choose, let's say, I did five different castings. It was okay. like the longest process of casting that I've ever done before. Mm -hmm. You know, like normally I used to do like two, you know, like the casting and then the callback and then you they let you know if you got the role or not. But I did five different, like three video castings. I used to send them <laughs> from home back in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And they decided to call me. And then I did two callbacks with the producers and the directors. And everyone was there. And I was super happy that I got the role because I truly believe in, in you know, like self-love. And what really matters is what you think about yourself and that how you look doesn't doesn't really matter. And a thing that I love to say is, you know, like we are like tuna can, like like a tuna can. What it really <laughs> matters is the tuna, not the can. <laughs> Very good. I understand so what I you mean on that. It, yeah, so I, I think this series it's all about that and mm -hmm. that's the the most important message that it's sending. Uh, specifically right now that we are into a lot of fake things and and I mean, if you enjoy that, that's perfectly okay. But I believe that, that the beauty should be inside and we don't... And also this idea that we don't have to be beautiful. We just have Love to be that. whatever we want to be. Love that message. Absolutely. But by the way, you happen to be beautiful. But when I looked at the role, <laughs> I saw how it looked more natural and organic. And um, you're right, you did blossom. And I believe a lot of women can relate to your character. And that's what's really cool. I, I mean, it's um, it's a pretty popular show. Yeah, it is. It went great. Uh, I was a little bit scared because I know the story, like the original one, the original version was pretty loved by a lot of Latinos and Latinas. Mm -hmm. So when I got the role, I was super excited and super into it, but also was scared because like this is this will be like one of the okay like like, like my presentation <laughs> to the world like the world yeah. would be able to know me and yes. i was like if i don't do it in the right way people's gonna yeah. hate me forever but oh if i goodness. do it right they're gonna love me well, no, you nailed it. You absolutely nailed it. Okay, so I have to ask this question. I always do, and I'm always curious. You do a little bit of kissing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how do you get kind of used to <laughs> kissing someone on screen, and how did that feel? Um, we, we are very good friends. I mean, I met Aww. him, Eric Elias, on the mm -hmm. show. Uh, and he was very kind and very generous. You know, he has been acting his whole life. He's older than me. Mm -hmm. So he was very kind 
and very open and you know I think that makes everything easier for me I was I was flowing I, I like him as a human being so mm -hmm. when you're friends of someone it's easier to be like or had confidence with someone or you know so we were close so that was easy but the first time I honestly was shocked I was like oh my god I'm <laughs> Am I really going to do this? Like, <laughs> why I want to do this? That's the question. Yes. But at the end of the day, it's just acting and, right. and Betty really wanted it. So she was happy to do it. And it was an amazing experience, to be honest, because he's kind and handsome. <laughs> and now, exactly. Oh, yeah, very handsome. And now that you've gotten more comfortable with, you know, doing the serious and, the and the, you know, the funny and getting the kissing out of the way, um, what's next for you? What's happening now? Well, right now, I'll be working in a project that I can't, I can't say much, but That's I okay. can assure you it's going to mm -hmm. be way different. It's not going to be Betty at all. And I'm excited to create this new character with different qualities different look different way of living mm -hmm. and it's it's gonna be you you can you guys gonna be you will know that's it <laughs> i no. cannot i cannot talk too much about it that's why i'm like i understand you got to kind of keep it private but you know what you're like a force to reckon with i mean i'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of you especially on the red carpet you're an amazing talent i mean but just one more thing before you know we go um, I'd like to know, when did you first start acting and when, who inspired you to act? When did I first start? Uh, when I, I used to dance. So my first, ah. let's say the first time I, I thought about art was dancing. So I had one teacher. She, she also used to be an actress, like just for fun. Mm-hmm. And I went to see her once to the theater and I was like, oh, that thing that she's doing. I told my mom and I was like 10 years old, like, oh, my God, that thing that she's doing, I want to do that. And my mom was like, what? Please don't. <laughs> they're like, no, yeah, for real, I want to do that. She's like, OK. Mom. She took me to a like a sale of Televisa, which is a school back in Mexico where mm -hmm. you have to do like a casting. And if they choose you, you get to be in the school and study when you're a child. So right. I did that and I got in. And then I started studying acting. And my favorite actress, it, it's right, like Gina Rodriguez. I love her so much. Mm -hmm. And But she's like recent. It, back, back in the time, it used to be, and it is, Natalie Portman. So I was like, wow, everything she does is just amazing. So I think as an actress, she did inspire me. But also that teacher, I owe her a lot because she showed me that acting existed. Like, I never... Mm -hmm thought about it you know like and she showed me and now that's why I'm here and because of I love it and I was for me it was like playing not like oh I'm doing something professional or like I'm working you know so yeah. I, I always thought about it as a game as I was having fun and and it became my passion and then when I was like 16 I realized oh I can do this like professionally like this could be a thing that I'm gonna do like my whole life Yes. And yeah, mm -hmm. I, think I realized that and I started to, you know, in Spanish would be picando piedra, which means like exploring paths in, <laughs> in different companies and schools. And so mm -hmm. I did that. And now I'm, I'm really happy that it, it's working out and I'm happy to be creating and creating more characters. And I hope I can do this for the rest of my life. And you know what? You're an amazing talent again. I know I said a lot in the beginning, but I'm sticking by it. You're a, a wonderful person, a great heart, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the big screen and all the future projects. How can people follow you? I'm sure right now you've got new, even more fans. Thank you so much for all those words. Thank you so much for real. And yes, you guys can follow me at my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that as Elifer Torres, just like that, at Elifer Torres. Thank you so much for being on the show today. We really appreciate it. On the Hollywood Social Lounge, I'm so honored. Oliver, is that right? Oliver, I love the name. It's E-L-Y. Could you spell it out? Yeah, E-L-Y-F-E-R Torres. Mm -hmm. with the All right. R. <laughs> Look for her. That's it. She's doing Thank things. You. All right. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. And we'll
Okay, cool. Let me know when it's All a right. two-minute warning. That's right. We're on our behind-the-scenes here on Facebook and on Periscope. We see you guys over there with the little hearts. We appreciate you on Periscope. Yeah. We also appreciate you guys on Facebook as well. They only let you give, like, one heart at a time, by the way. But there you go. Uh, let's see. Aww. We uh, Big shout-out to Johnny. Johnny over there shared us on Twitter. Thank you, Johnny. Big appreciate time. Appreciate that. You Thank retweeted you. us. Thank you. Uh, Sarah uh, Zhao says, uh, welcome. Actually, she didn't, uh, Sarah didn't say anything, but she joined. Uh, 2019 Sousa, thanks for tuning in. Virgo Love, 715 also. Johnny, Johnny Papa said this. Johnny Papa. Uh, we are all tuna. Uh, call me Albacore. Oh. Call me Albacore, yeah. That was, that was, well, what did you think about that, her saying that? I thought it was, all, it was sweet. It, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The good thing about her is like she's, she's very empowering and she's all for women. You can tell that instantly. Mm -hmm. But she's a sweetheart. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. And you're going to see a lot of her. I, I really believe that. Oh, yeah. She's very talented. She has a big future there, just yes. like Gina did, right? Or does. Like, when, but when she, I don't think people saw the star power that Gina would be and what she's blossomed into mm -hmm. as she has just recently. Uh, let's see. Brenda Higuera in social media on Facebook is saying, love her. She's amazing. Yes, yeah, she very is. Very good. Agreed. Uh, very good. Uh, let's see. A lot so, of great words there, I'm telling you. Yeah, so right. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we got less than a minute. For those of you tuning in, we appreciate you. This is our behind the scenes episode. <laughs> so this is where we, you know, just like we're running commercials on television, right. running commercials on the radio and online. You, we skip all that. Yes. You just get us unfiltered. So Mia. And it's fun. Yes. Uh, maybe I should wait. Maybe I should oh, wait. No, but no, no. Too I want to know from you wait, guys wait, wait, wait. No, no. who you want to be your Alexa voice. Ooh. James Earl Jones. Uh, let's see. Some said Jeremy Irons. I, I think say, on Twitter, some I, people I, I, actually. I, I, I have somebody. Okay. Uh, Thor. Oh, you you want Thor. I want Thor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and who do you want, Aaron? Yeah. Who do you want? Let oh, me, yeah. let oh, me yeah. read to you what you need to get. Very good. Ooh, la, you know why? Because I got the Thor haircut, and then I was channeling it, and I asked Brenda, Can, do, do you like Thor? And she's like. Whatever. And she, yeah. <laughs> oh, so I thought I could do that with you. Dressed up in a costume. Okay, yeah. who do you want? What voice? What voice? Welcome back. It's the Hollywood Social Lounge right here on ABC News Radio, KMET, 1490 AM, KVVB TV, 33 Facebook Live, and Periscope TV. Yes. So, Ellie Far Torres. What was that yes. like interviewing her? I got to. It's amazing. She's such a sweetheart. And I strongly believe I see in her future a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah. No, she's amazing because she can make you laugh, she can make you cry. I mean, and she's beautiful, and I'm looking forward to her next venture, especially when she played the Selena, the very young Selena. I Whoa, mean, wow. You know what I mean? And that's, what a that's a big role. role. Yeah, that's, that's a, a dream role. role for a lot of ladies out there, which were actually looked up yes. or look up to Selena. I know yes. some that would be like, move over, but then they see her in that performance. You're like, stay where you're at, right? Stay where you're at. Yes. Uh, so, Jennifer Lopez. I mean, that could be Jennifer Lopez, like, explode overnight, so be, just being Selena, right? But and she did an amazing job, by the right. way, of Selena. But, yeah, yeah that's a role that's, yeah. that's, that's it's a big role. You can't just be Selena because you have to sing and do all the moves. And Because she was very talented. And, you know, and, you know, at the end, what happens at the end, you know that. But yeah. this actress is just like, again, she's a sweetheart, and I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of her. And and I, I just want her to stay her genuine self, right? Like do you just, think she can do I, it in I think she can. I sure? think, I think look, Gina Rodriguez, yes. we've had Gina Rodriguez. We interviewed her sweetheart, on the red carpet, her. and she's exactly the way she's presented on film and TV. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, like she had the latest film where she was like, you know, kicking butt and all that, yes. but she's actually just fun to talk to and just like shoot the breeze. And and, and if, if she could stay that way, I say kudos to her. Awesome. And then you know, even does. if she does get that little moment, which sometimes happens you mean, with celebrities, it you sometimes mean happens that at least, you know, she'll be like, she'll get over it really quick and be like, okay, back to herself. Yeah. Cause that, that, I think that's what that role epitomizes the true, yeah. genuine beauty from within. That's true. No, you're right. You're right. right. But how did you like that question I asked about the kissing? I'm always curious about that. <laughs> you part. like the kissing? I am. I'm All like, right. okay, I can't help it. No, I, just... I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, speaking of which, we got movie trailers. Ooh. Some of them have kissing. Some of them have no <laughs> kissing at all. Uh, let's go to our first one and right. uh, check it out. Let us know in social media. Would you watch this? Would you not watch it? Would you pass Ooh. on it? Let us know. We want to know. We'll show your comments coming up. Here's the first trailer. Check it out. Thank you. 
I think women can do anything. Just because they can doesn't mean they should. <laughs> but I have so many talents. It's like I'm powerful with a little bit of tender. Oh, I'm just a decoy star. That's just the way you make me feel. Who steals? Your manager needs money. Outstanding angels. You have a new client? Who is she? I can't sleep at night. I'm the lead programmer on a product that can revolutionize the power industry. But there is a possibility it can be weaponized. Elena, we need to go. You know no! You're not a waitress? No, I'm Jane. Oh. Who are you? I'm Bosley. Welcome to the Pounds and Agency. We exist because traditional law enforcement can't keep up. I don't like that, boy. You guys are like lady spies. Jane's former MI6. Oh, God. What did you do to Sven? I compressed his carotid and deoxygenated his brainstem. Well, that sounds painful. Don't worry, he's gonna wake up. Unless he doesn't. Sabina runs the ground game. See, I know stuff. Let's get the weapon before it becomes every bad guy's favorite new toy. Take her to the closet, gear her up. We're gonna need some wigs, toys. Feisty. Clothes. Ah, we're still in the first closet. There's another closet. Oh my God. Oh, Vince. Let's just stop the touching. Some of these blows up. Yeah. <laughs> Jane, are you flirting with a handsome nerd? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> How'd that feel? Because it looked like it felt really good. That felt nice. Here we go! Morning, angels. Good morning, Charlie. So, will you watch it? I don't know. I don't know. It's a Charlie's Angel reboot, and it's been quite a few of them. Right. And this one is going to, okay, I saw Patrick Stewart, and, you know, I, I love Patrick Stewart yeah. in a movie. So they've gotten some big names in this movie that can kind of draw a crowd. Right. But I don't know, Aaron. I mean, what do you think? Do you like the cast? Do you like the Charlie's Angels? I, I, well, the Charlie's Angels, not, well, Charlie, Bo, what, what, what's his name? Well, Patrick Stewart. Patrick Pat, Stewart. When they Bosley. flashed that, Bosley. Bosley, I was like, okay, I want him in. And then I understand, like, there's a second Bosley, so I'm a little confused there. But look, I, look, whatever they do, I'm sure they're going to do it well. But what about Elizabeth Banks, A, acting in it, and then, of course, directing it and producing it? That, did you know she had that much like star power? No, I did not actually, and that's pretty hard to do, especially with her being a woman in Hollywood. So that's super cool. So I'm excited to see that. Yes. See, so we we played that first because you know we figured we like you know kick it off with you yeah, know women empowerment. Women. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. So for that reason, I think it's going to be great. Uh, uh -huh. it, I, it looks it looks like it's going to be a fun ride. Okay. Yeah. All right. But great cars, by the way. I love that part. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next on the scene. Oh, yes. this one. I, I want to get your opinion on this uh -oh. one. I'm going to do this one because I, I want to reserve my judgment for this one. But here we go. Uh -oh. Check it out. Okay. You still talking to your friends? It's complicated. Many a tear has to fall. When we first got together, but it's all we were different people. In the game. All in the <laughs> Grandpa Eddie? Anthony? This is uh, uh, Martha and, and Bethany. This is Spencer's grandfather. Nice to meet you. Morning. Sorry to barge in on you. Uh, you're not barging, he's barging. Milo Walker. <laughs> Did you guys see Spencer? I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. Are you out of your mind? We haven't even picked our guys yet. Oh, he just starts falling. You hear something? Huh? Spencer. Huh? 
What? Who are you? Oh, my God. You're Spencer's grandfather. Are we in Florida? And you? My little walker. Did I die and turn into some kind of a small, muscular Boy Scout? Are we dead? Bethany? No, no, no! Rich? I'm the old fat dude. This can't be happening! My hip sure feels good now. Look at my thighs. Look at your thighs. Look at my thighs. OK, we have some issues here. The game is busted. It was a game. I'm not it. I don't want to be it. Welcome to Jumanji. <laughs> This next adventure is even more challenging. And remember, the future of Jumanji is in your hands. I have one important question. Who is Jumanji? Is that Barbara's boy? We're gonna die. We did die. Are we in hell? I knew it. Oh, my God. All in the this is a whole new thing. Let me know. You've got to have eyes in the back of your head. What in the Sam Hill? Hell is this? It's your strengths and weaknesses. Smoldering intensity? It's a stupid face you make. Huh? What's going on? You having a heart attack? Breathe. Breathe. His whole left side is shutting down. Eddie. All in the wonderful So there you go. Yes. Jumanji. Now, did you see the first Jumanji? I did not. I need to see it. I know, I know. I'm probably like the only person on the planet that has it, but I haven't. What? I know. You it's know, in Spanish, that would be Yuman, Yumanyi. Wait, no. That was a good just, try. Yeah, I was, I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure. But but shot. look, hey, Dwayne The Rock Johnson yes. doing his thing. Uh, Kevin Hart. This was prior to Kevin Hart having that accident, right? Oh, so, that's right. So, yes. again, he's able to move there. But uh, So, look, but the movie, yeah. I love. If you've already seen the first one, you know those are the original four characters in it. Mm -hmm. Of course, being able to be like in the body. Now, if you got one to pick. Like an avatar, huh? Yeah, which one would you want, which body would you want to be in, Mia? Absolutely none. I know, there <laughs> is no way, no. <laughs> no. No, but which one would you be? The, oh, Dwayne the Rock, I wouldn't want to be <laughs> Kevin Hart. Dwayne. Nobody wants to be Kevin you Hart. Be Kevin like, Hart. No, you I'd want to be oh, a big, yeah. burly muscle. Come on, that's with the- With the smoldering look, with the blue steel light, that blue steel look, look at him. I'll yeah. check him out this eyebrow, yeah. okay. There you go, All there's right. the next Alexa voice, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. All right, look, <laughs> we gotta take not. another break. When we come back, we got more trailers. Shouts out as well. Robert says, looks good. Love them all. Awesome. Very good. And in Periscope, let's see. Johnny says, huge hit of the winter. Huge hit. Yeah, I believe Ooh. it. I believe it. It's a good It's a good family feel good. And which, by the way, that, by the I didn't way. see the first one in the movie uh, theater. But what? yeah, because I didn't expect much. And then I, yeah. I rented it. And I'm like, OK, so the second one, I'm going to go watch the movie theater. You got to catch up with the first one so we can all go see it together. OK, we need it's to take a, a break. We'll be right back right after these messages. Stay tuned. <laughs> Just saying. All right, social media, we're seeing your comments. Let's see if we can get some of these flashed up on there. I like this one, J.J. Smith. J.J. Smith. Smith, yeah, he says... Uh, Mr. Smith. I, I, he says, should make Joe Pesci the voice of Google Maps never make a wrong turn again, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I love Sweet. Joe Pesci. Who doesn't yeah, love Joe awesome. Pesci? No, you're right. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me, right? Like, that's his. that's oh, the way he kind of... That's kinda, right. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I gotta work good. on that. Oh my goodness! We gotta work on that. I, Voiceover. Yeah. All right. Whoa. 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 Wait. Uh, the okay. Are talking. Uh, okay. Let's see. Robert over there says looking good. Love them all. And I like Robert went on to say I'll be Kevin. Okay. Oh, yeah. You represent. Yeah, representing over there with Kevin. But uh, look, I mean, I love Kevin's humor. I just want to be. Wouldn't want to be stuck in that. You know. In that avatar body. Vertically challenged height. He talks about it himself. He's very he's a very big man, you know. Uh-huh. How tall is he, by the way? Four foot nine? <laughs> Five foot one. You know what? I shouldn't li look. Oh my gosh, I was just And lying. he's like, all oh, right, Re really, really, really? Yeah, okay. All right, all right, sure. Yeah. You, you can't you can't not do the height because he'll come back at like I've seen the interviews. 
Is I'm that not, why they do those angle shots where the camera's going up instead of like down the, the angle? But, but here's the thing. I think him and like Dwayne yeah. The Rock Johnson are forever comedy oh, yeah. buddies. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Right? They, they've done several movies together, and yeah. each one I've enjoyed them both, by the way. Yes. Because you got like next to Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you're not going to like say anything to Kevin Hart, right? And Kevin Hart's just got that like fantastic he does. personality. Did so you, I, Did you ever see The Real, what is it, The Real Husbands of Hollywood? Did you ever see that? No. Oh, you gotta watch it. Sure. Oh yeah, it's hilarious. Oh, he's five two. Oh, close. Now, Mia, you're like what, six ten, six eleven? Uh, I think you're, you got two more inches above. With that. heels, with yes. heels, by mm -hmm. the way. I'm very tall. Yeah. You, yeah. Right. So, would you date a man who's five two? It depends, because I was in love with Prince for a long time, and he had high heels, and he was oh, like right. four foot nine, right? Right. But he was fine. Okay, so you so okay as long as they wear heels going yeah. out. We can both wear heels. It's cool. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, so there you go. <laughs> Things you didn't know about Mia, but you <laughs> never thought you thought you would either. Okay. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Let's see. I know my mom. My mom's like she goes. I would never date anybody like smaller than me because. But what if he had? But she like went six foot super, four. Super. Super. She's handsome. five two. I mean, what if he just? Mm. Tom Cruise? Would you? I don't know. Ten seconds, people. All right. So there we go. Let's see. Uh, Robert says no. Oh, oh sorry. He's 5'4". My bad. Okay. Good to five, know. 5'4". Oh, he's got All right, here we go. of inches. Here we go. Welcome back. Yes, it is the Hollywood Social Lounge. I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. I'm Mia Mocha. And we're having fun over here yes. in the studio. It is all about movie trailers. Let's talk about yes. the next trailer, which, by the way, really quick, for those of you uh, checking out, the comments and social media are lighting up. Uh, Robert Jr. says, I'll be Kevin. So he'll be Kevin Hart. Woo! I'll be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And so that leaves with you just one of I'll two. Just Jack be, Black I'll, or no, 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 you have on only two more now. What? Which one? Yeah. Okay, I'll be like, Jack Black. I'll be Jack. Not the girl. You don't want to be the girl? Okay, I'll be the girl. I'll be you the could girl. be Jack Black. Jack Black was the girl in the last one. Okay, I'll be Jack Black. Okay, there you I go. Like all right. He's all right. Kung Fu all Panda. Right. All right. So let's go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Let's go. That's <laughs> Joe Pesci. We had a break. You missed it. If you want to find our social media chat room, you got to find us on The Hollywood Social Lounge. It's, it's all right there. So go check that out. Facebook and on Twitter, the yes. underscore HSL. Next trailer. Super excited about this. All right. Or am I? Don't uh -oh. know. Let's see it. Let me ask you a question. You think you're black? I want to sleep. You think them your people? I want to sleep. Well, they're not. Anticipated. We are. You're blue now. I gotta meet a CI. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. where are you going? Stay in the car. Listen, you already got rid of everyone that could talk. What the hell are you doing here, rookie? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just relax. We're all cops here. This isn't what it looks like. What did you do? She had a body cam on! But we got a ghost! She's gone! Find her! Help! I think shot. Are you gonna bring that to my side? Ain't nothing for you in here! Let's get you out of here. We got her. Don't be stupid. All he wants is the body cam. Please, I've been shot. What? You can't be in here with this. The police, they'll help you. It was the cops that shot me. Now prepare us the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. She cannot get back to the precinct to upload the footage on that camera. My cup runneth over. Every cop and criminal in this city is coming to find her. I want her dead. The Lord. Put everybody on him. You got a price on your head. I'm gonna expose them. If they erase the system, all of this will be for nothing. This is your plan? We're still alive, aren't we? 
you got a hard choice to make right now. Are you one of us, or are you one of them? She picked her side. I walk, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Murder is murder, don't matter who you are. I will fear no evil. It's not bad. Black and blue. Yeah. So there you go. Black mm -hmm. and blue. I yes. Yeah. So would you want to see it? I want to see it. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. I want to see that one. Yeah. Yes. So. It looks really exciting. And the fact that she's a cop with other cops and she's on the run. See, I, I like to sit back and I like to I like to look at films like this. Very like, and that is a must-see. Let me do that again. Let me see yeah. that again. Well, I, mean, I think that. that's a must-see. Look, mm -hmm. because that is uh, one that I want to see. Yes. I want to see her go at it. Uh-huh. Woman no. I would say mano a mano, but it's uh -huh. womano a mon, mano, right? Women against the men. Yes. I love it. I love what they're doing with that well, one. So I cannot wait to see that. Women against a bunch of men because the guys are all together, looks like. But yeah. she's kind of on her own. She has that body cam. It really kind of makes you question, right? Like, you know, like because they're all being taped right there. So look, uh, I think that's a must see, yes, in my opinion. Like the next one, yeah. This is uh -oh. the one I'm like, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. The the story looks good, by the way. Don't get me wrong. And I'll give you my nee, why. But you might okay. disagree or agree. Here it is. Who's this kid? He didn't think he could cut it. I figured it was just the usual jitters. I take him under my wing. He was wanting to be scared. Pearl Harbor is the greatest intelligence failure in American history. This can never happen again. I want to make it right. At least some of the boys still want to fight. Japanese are planning something bigger. So what's the target? We believe it's Midway. Washington disagrees. Washington is wrong. If we lose, then Japanese own the West Coast. Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles. We'll burn. We got the order to launch. We need to throw a punch. So they know what it feels like to be hit. We're talking about a couple dozen planes. It's all Japanese fleet. This isn't a fair fight. I don't know how to lead these men. They'll follow you anywhere. If you know that you came through, when people are counting on you. You'll be able to face anything. So, watch it. What do you think? I would watch it. Okay, okay. I love history type movies, so I know this is based on actual events and it looks pretty intense, but I'm hoping it's the full story of Pearl Harbor and everyone that was really involved in it, not just a few that they've turned into a, a movie. Right, right. You know? I think it's a different slant, but I will say this. When you look at the trailer, it yeah. looks like looking at Pearl Harbor 2.0 It does, with, it is true. Remember, uh, of course, uh, Batman. Ben Affleck. <laughs> I'm just saying, a lot of those shots looked almost exactly. I just wonder if, like, no, the director right. was like, "Oh, let me go watch this to see." Oh, yeah, like that shot, that shot, that <laughs> shot. Let up. me reduplicate that. <laughs> I, I, I just saying, yeah, like, I just up. wanted like a brand new Pearl Harbor. That's my only thing. Look, Midway, of course, a very serious topic. Right. Not going to take away from that. Right. I'm just saying, visually, I thought I was watching the other one with, you know, the That's love. It. And maybe this has less love and more action. I hope so too. I agree. And in, in the, it's from the same makers of Independence Day. And what was the other one? 
Uh, oh, um, the, is the day after tomorrow? Day after tomorrow. I have yeah. both those movies, and they're amazing. So good I'm films. Really interested. Yes. yes. All right. So there you go. <laughs> I, but I wonder if the Pearl Harbor guy is going to be like, "Hey, come Man. on." I would be. I'd be like, you know, I did. I did this already. It's called Pearl Harbor. Uh, okay. Uh, let, last, let, we have one more time for one more. One more. See if you're gonna. Yes. Okay. Fun for the whole family, by the way. Okay. You're gonna like this. Trust me. Here it is. Swifty's the name. You're looking at the next lead dog for the Arctic Blast delivery service. No promotion for you this year. I run serious business. You are a small Arctic fox who was not meant to pull a giant sled with packages on it. The only thing I'll be remembered for now is not being memorable. Like that other guy. One guy. Exactly. So, who's gonna be a good boy? Who's gonna be top down? Hey, Swifty. Please deliver this package for me. Are you sure about this? What's the worst that could happen? Are you crazy? Crazy like a fox. On November 1st. <laughs> Jeremy Renner. <laughs> Heidi Klum. <laughs> James Franco. John Cleese. Omar Sy. Michael Madsen. Lori Holden with Angelica Houston and Alec Baldwin. Oh, yeah. Who's with me? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, yeah. Incoming! Oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh, I'm not blind. <laughs> Arctic Dogs. Oh, here yeah, we go. That was a question. That's right. So there you go. <laughs> Arctic dogs looking good over there, right? Yes, I got absolutely. nothing bad to say about that. You guys no. are, uh, let's see, talking about Midway, though. Here's one. Uh, Johnny goes on to say, spoiler, we won WW2. That being said, oh, I'm wow. going to go see it. Uh, Steven says, Midway, thumbs up. Uh -huh. Johnny went on to say, put them side by side. You will see the difference. I like this comment, J.J. Smith, and I agree with you, J.J. On storyline, I think I like the perspective they're doing with this film. Says, I would rather see more of the intelligence behind Pearl Harbor. Me too. That's I prefer less action with period pieces, although the trailer could be deceiving. That was that was Very for good. me the problem with watching Pearl Harbor with Ben Affleck yes. and that whole team. The love part kind of took away from it. Did it was done well though? Don't get me wrong. It's a fun yeah, film no, to watch, I, but I I feel you. No, you're right. You're right. You so, want to see less love story, more of what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Now. I agree. Black and blue. Black and blue. Steven says this in social media. Black and blue, great storyline, a definite must-see movie, and use right. the popcorn emoji. There's a popcorn emoji? i got to start using that. So uh, there you go. What do you think? All right. I agree. Yeah, that's our that show. That's good. That's our show, yeah. folks. Okay, so look. Uh, yeah, Steven goes on. Arctic Dogs, great for the kids, right? That's going to be fun you gotta for you got to throw a kid one up in there. Yeah, you got to do that. So, yes. you know, fun for the whole family. That's yes. what we say. And then the other ones, well, you know, adult, you know, date night. Yeah. So there you go. All right. Cool. Well, we have to let everyone go, but we want to say a big thank you for following us on yeah. social media and chatting it up with us again. How can they find you, Mia? On Twitter, I'm Mia Mocha underscore. On Instagram, it's Mia underscore Mocha. I hope I don't confuse everyone. <laughs> there you go. And also the Hollywood Social yes. Lounge right here. Check it out, the Hollywood Social Lounge on Facebook and on Twitter and everywhere else. YouTube as well. we got a YouTube channel. Check it all out right there. We'll see you next week. Make it a great day. Remember, life is worth living. Live it well. <laughs>